Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode I'm excited to take another look at Lightroom Mobile. Now as you might remember, Lightroom Mobile now allows you to specify which collections you want to sync up to the cloud and then down to your mobile devices. Well, up until now, that just was, you know, that was just your iPad. Well, starting today, we have the ability to also do it on iPhone because we're introducing Lightroom Mobile for iPhone as well. So here's how the process works. As you might remember, you can go in Lightroom 5.4 or higher to use um, Lightroom Mobile. Now starting with 5.5, we've added a couple new things. Uh, first of all, you still go in and check off which collections you want to sync with Lightroom Mobile. So I've got this Antelope Canyon collection synced, I've got an iPhone photography collection synced, and of course my portfolios. And those will show up on my iPad and now my iPhone. So here in the Antelope Canyon collection, we can see that I've got some images, including yours truly, from Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend and out in Arizona. Well, I wanna look at those now on my iPhone, but before we do that, let's take a picture with the iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the iPhone over there it is, there's Lightroom Mobile, but I'm gonna jump out just for a second and bring up the camera app. And as you know, the camera app will just let me go in and take a picture, there we go. And that picture will be sent to my camera roll. But now in Lightroom Mobile, I've got it set to auto import into that iPhone photography collection. So if I go to the iPhone photography collection, there's the shot that I just took, and we can see the little spinny thing up the top is syncing that down to, or syncing it up to the cloud and then down to my desktop. So I'll get the full fidelity, full resolution of that iPhone photo on my desktop. That way I can be out and about taking pictures and those pictures will just be on my desktop when I get back. Now, if we go to the uh, Antelope Canyon collection, we can see that it's sorted, but it's not in the same order as the desktop. Well, here's something that's new, and this is part of 5.5 on the desktop, is I now have the ability to sort with custom order. So that means that it will match the order that's on the desktop, and I get those photos in the exact same order as they appeared uh, before. Now, the other thing, of course, uh, we have the same gesture, same functionality. So if I like this pick, I can swipe up to make it a pick. If I uh, swipe to the left, I can get to the next photo. If I don't like a particular one, like these guys in my shot, I can swipe down, mark that a reject, and I can just keep going. Well, now um, in this new version, we also support star ratings. So if I go in, I can go ahead and say, hey, you know, I really like this shot of me. This is a maybe a four star shot. And now that star rating will be carried back to the desktop and of course over to the iPad as well. Now of course this wouldn't be Lightroom if we weren't doing non-destructive adjustments. So I really like this photo. Matter of fact, I'm gonna mark, well it has the potential to be a five star photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it five stars and maybe even a pick as well. And, um, but it needs some work. So let's give it a little work here. Let's first of all go in and crop it. The sky is completely blown out. There's just no way to bring that back because there's just nothing there. So let's take the attention away from it. Let's go ahead and just simply crop down. The next thing we'll do is we'll change um, some attributes of it. So if we go into our adjustments, again, these are the same adjustments in Lightroom on the desktop and therefore non-destructive. So I can go into my exposure, maybe bring the exposure down a little bit so it's not so blown out. Go to my contrast, I can go ahead and increase the contrast of this photo, really bringing out the detail in those mountains. And of course, we'll go into our blacks, we'll bring the blacks down a little bit. And of course, the things I love to do on landscapes like clarity and vibrance and saturation. So we'll really pump up this, this shot and really make it really vibrant, almost unrealistic, but we'll, we'll just keep going and get it the way we want. Now, those changes, as you see in the upper right hand corner, are syncing back to Creative Cloud, back down to the desktop, non-destructively. So if we uh, scroll down here, we'll see that we got our four star rating on that photo, we got our pick flag, we got all the things that we asked for on uh, Lightroom Mobile, and now it just made the adjustment here on the iPhone, and it's syncing those changes up to Creative Cloud, back down to my desktop, and of course, over to my iPad as well. So let's uh, go take a look at the iPad. And we'll bring the iPad over, same collection. And as a matter of fact, we can go ahead and sort that. Um, here, let's go back out. We can sort that in the same order, custom order. 
So we get the same sorting there. And in a few moments, we'll see it update uh, the photo that we just made the adjustments to in all places. It's already done it on the desktop, and we're just waiting for it to do it on the iPad as well, since the iPad's looking at the same collection. Now, if we kind of, uh, here, let's move the phone out of the way while we're waiting for the iPad to sync. And if we uh, go back, of course, we're looking at the iPhone photography one here. And the iPhone photography one has that shot that we took earlier. And if we go here on the desktop and we go to the iPhone photography, there it is as well. Again, even with the location information because the iPhone puts that in the photos. So we're getting everything synced, whether we do it on the iPhone, the desktop, or the iPad. And of course, if we uh, switch back over to the devices, let's do that real quick. There's the iPad, which is now updated. And of course, if we go back to the phone and we go to the same Antelope Canyon, the same shots updated there. And of course, with the same ratings. So if I go in and look at this shot, it's got the same pick flag in the lower left-hand corner. And if I toggle to my star ratings, it's got the same four-star rating or five-star rating in this case in the lower left-hand corner. So everything is synced back and forth between all my devices, no matter where I do the work. And that is Lightroom Mobile, now including iPhone. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.